Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a very highly requested topic. It is how have I been keeping my hair bright, bouncy, blonde, blended throughout quarantine because obviously we are missing our hairdressers like there's no tomorrow. And some people have went to box dye, but I just couldn't bring myself to do that. I did cut myself a lovely pair of DIY bangs, but I've just been experimenting with different toners, um, hair color correcting masks, dry shampoos, foam shampoos, all sorts of different products. So if you want to know some of my first impressions on some of those products, because some of them, it was my first time using them in this video. So I'm talking about all of those in this video, as well as my first impressions and a review demonstration of the Beauty Works Mermaid Hair Waver. As you can see, it gives such cute little waves. I look like Milo's ears. But yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the video. And make sure to check out the links in the description below. My code Sean underscore LF works on everything. So get shopping, enjoy yourself, and enjoy the demonstration, review, first impressions. Holy Grail products video. <laughs> right guys, so let's get into the video. So the first few products I'm gonna be talking about are the ones that I have been using non-stop. They're not first impressions. It's not my first time using them, but they are ones that I've been using for the whole of lockdown and the ones that have been making my hair stay in the condition that it's in, keeping it nice and shiny, and also the thing that I've been asked about the most. The famous Philip Kingsley blonding mask. Now guys, when I put this up the first day, like, I didn't put in as much last night because I'm leaving my hair a little bit more kind of creamy blonde. But the first time I put it in, I was like, oh my God, my roots are jet black. My hair is brassy. I'm leaving this in. And I left it in for about 10 to 15 minutes and my hair was platinum white, nearly gray silver, but so beautiful. And now I literally use it every week. And there's a good bit left in it, even though I put it all over my um, hair. And of course my discount code works on it as well. So. Literally, I couldn't believe the response when I put it up on my Insta stories. The amount of swipe ups and the amount of people tagging me in it when they bought it was just insane. So it has like color correcting in it. And I also tried another few of Philip Kingsley products. In the meantime, I tried their weightless shampoo and conditioner, which I loved. And there's also a kind of week, well daily, um, shampoo and conditioner from this range too for you blonde beauties. But let's get into the rest of the products. This is the main one, the one that all of you guys have been asking about. And since it does have that color correcting property in it it does tend to kind of match your well not match but it definitely blends the roots into the ends it takes away any harsh lines or any kind of brassiness that was going on in that area also before i get into this video um i did give my hair a little trim in the meantime i cut my fringe up i'm not going to give you a tutorial on how to do that but it actually turned out kind of cute and um, i just like did little bangs and cut upwards but i can still brush them to the side so if you're wondering why my hair is like half bangs half side fringe that is why so then moving on to the next of the products, as you can see, I just used one of them, the wet hair tangle teaser with the handle. I have been using tangle teasers since the beginning of time, I'm sure. I love how soft they are on your hair. I feel like they're the only things that can take tangles out of my hair. But the way I'm liking using this at the moment, obviously it has a handle, so it's super handy. But um, this one is actually made for wet hair or in the shower. So what I like to do is, because I'm gonna be showing you a lot of like uh, hair products here for actually in the shower. When I have this bad boy in, I like to give it a brush through my hair just so it's going all over and also getting those tangles out in the shower is always much easier than when you get out. But um, it's really important to have a good quality hairbrush when you're doing that so you are not damaging your hair in the shower. But other than that mask, I have other in-shower products that I'm gonna talk to you about. I did my hair last night. I washed and blow dried it and used all these products. I always sleep on my hair after washing and blow drying it before I style it. I find it just takes down any static or frizz. But these are all the products that I've been using over the last few weeks in my hair, mixing and matching between a few of them always this one but there also has been another few so i'll talk to you about them so this is another brand that i have been loving during lockdown i find that the color wow shampoo and conditioner is the perfect shampoo to use if you wash your hair more than once a week i don't i literally do it once but if your hair is getting a little bit too dry or a little bit too gray or just ashy from using all the purple products this one is a really really good one that will keep your hair 
definitely looking nice and shiny it's great for that extra bit of like hydration because dyed hair obviously is a little bit more damaged but it just kind of like glosses or brightens up the curl you have and this isn't specifically for blondes this is for any color it's kind of like a color shield nearly so i do love using this on and off with the other purple products just so i don't go too gray so yeah this brand is amazing really really couldn't recommend this enough i've been using it for a really long time alongside her counterparts now i know you've seen this one because this is on every man woman and mother and goldfish's instagram story it is the dream filter from color wow and this is the one that you spray in your hair leave on for a few minutes before washing and then when you wash it out and dry your hair you notice such a big difference people are having incredible results with this i mainly focus it just around where i get like tan or most brassy in my hair obviously now with the black roots it's not I don't really spray it right onto the dark because it won't make a huge difference on that. But any part of the blonde, I'm just spraying it in all in and around here. And I do a tiny bit at the ends. The only thing is I wouldn't recommend using this all the time. It has some acid in it that you're not meant to use it all the time. But I'm um, definitely weekly or every second wash or whatever. I love this and I always, always, always do it on my fringe, like I said, around my face. So if you are blonde and you find that you need that extra little bit of lift, since we don't have the hairdressers, toners to do it, this one is really, really good. And in partnership with this then, I've been using the Dream Coat. And this is like a humidity kind of, how would you describe it? Me trying to be a hairdresser. Humidity proving powers. So you spray it on and trust me guys, when I do this and I blow dry my hair with the nozzle, the cool blast and the rolly brush, I don't even need to straighten my hair afterwards because this just has me silky soft, no frizz. And I actually find that this definitely does lighten and brighten as well, even though it's not one of the properties. It is activated through heat. So as you're blow drying your hair, I just feel that it definitely is brightening it and bringing it back to life. And this lasts three to four shampoos, so you don't have to use it every time either. I've also been using this L'Oreal shampoo on and off as well during lockdown. This is a Blonder Fire Cool, and I find this one is really good if you want to, again, stay a little bit more blonde, not too ashy, but definitely cool it down i've tried the platinum silver one i think it's called before and oh my god that is definitely by far the best purple shampoo if you want a drastic change i do find this is quite drying in a way but it makes the biggest difference so if you really need a major major change these two would be the strongest since this one is a mask it's really really moisturizing really hydrating that's as well why I try not to use this all the time because it does make your hair that little bit greasier if you're using it all the time. Because it's a mask, obviously you can focus it just on the ends if you want, but I put it all over. And um, it says that if you have a se sensitive scalp not to put it too close to roots, I have been using it on my roots and having no issues. But I do like to actually wash this out with a shampoo just because it is quite heavy. I don't want that sticking in my roots. So I'll put this on once my hair is wet and then I'll actually shampoo it out just to make sure that my hair is actually nice and clean and like not too oily at the root. So I like using a shampoo then either like I mentioned a while ago, the color wear one, or I'm loving this one as well. And I love the platinum one. And like I said, it's a little bit more on the drying side, but by God, it gives you such a good clean and it gives you drastic results in regards to like how much you can lift your color with one of these, especially with the silver one. Like you can go charcoal gray nearly, which is actually a really cool look. But this one is definitely more if you want to stick with that creamy blonde look, but really, really good shampoo and actually quite cheap as well. It's only about nine something and my code works on it, so cheaper again. So right guys, let's get into the styling kind of part of it. And just before we get into the dry styling, there was another product that I used last night. It's actually my first time using it, so a bit of a first impressions. It's the Brass Band Color and Perfect perfect mousse for blonde hair and when I first saw this and when I bought it off the website I thought it was actually going to be like some a toner for in the shower but what is extra special about this is it's like a toner for your dry hair so you're not washing it out you're not losing any results when you're using this it stays in your hair so you literally squirt it out like a mousse I'll just show you a little bit it comes out like a mousse and it has color correcting properties in it so that when you put it in your hair it gives you that extra bit of volume your body bounce and guts flexibility stability and also has that lavender tint there so it keeps your hair blonde and you don't even have to wash it out another product that has been on my to-do list to buy list for so so long and i literally this is my first time getting my hands on the range oh there's four products here now i'm going to pronounce this wrong way is the Jen Atkin hairdresser who stays the Kardashians it's her hairdressing her hair products line and I have the dry texture foam I have the dry shampoo foam the volumizing hairspray and also the wave 
the wave spray. So what I just thought was so innovative and something I've never seen before is that these are foams, even though they're to like dry out your hair. So this is just brilliant if you find that putting dry shampoo in your hair obviously does take out the grease or whatever else. It can dry out, but I just, I need dry shampoo. I can't survive without it. So the fact that this actually makes it fully look like you're after washing your hair because it's wet and you can still just get ready in two minutes. So it's a literal mousse and you can just pop it into your head. Now, if you had time using a hair dryer with this, I feel it would work. This is my first impressions of, so I'm literally just making this up. But literally, you scrunch it into your hair. This is really good too for um, hiding those roots. Dry shampoo has been my best friend for all of lockdown for hiding the roots and just kind of lightening them down. Wish you could feel it guys. It literally doesn't feel like dry shampoo at all. It doesn't have that dry chalky feeling. It actually makes your hair feel really nice and clean. So that's definitely a recommend for me. I knew I was going to love them before I even tried them. I've heard amazing things about them and she is just such a talented hairdresser who's like really innovative and always like thinking forward with her products. So I knew that they were going to be good. Then she actually has another dry product here too. It's the dry texture foams. But again, it's very similar. It comes out like the mousse. And I'm just going to focus that on at the mid to ends again. So, oh, and it smells so good. And I like to actually crunch it too, just to kind of give myself a head start on the waver. Even though I want to keep the ends of my hair straight for this kind of a look. I do like just kind of scrunching so I have a bit of... Um, just a little bit more kind of volume at the top and then other than that the other product is the volumizing hairspray so I'm going to use that after we've done our waves and then I also got the wave spray so we'll put a tiny bit of that into again oh the smell it smells so good I think we're ready to get into the main thing I cannot wait to try in this video the Beauty Works Mermaid Waver. Oh my god, guys. How many people have you seen using this? And oh my god, I'm just dying to try it. I think this is especially a good hairstyle to use if you do have a little bit of roots going on because it's going to distract from it because you're curling from the top or crimping from the top even. Whereas with a curler, obviously, you're just doing it from here down or whatever, so you still have the focus on the root. Whereas I think with this bad boy, <gasps> look at the size of it you can actually crimp from the top so it's definitely going to like hide the fact that you have roots a little bit better and just kind of giving it that lift in the crink it won't have such a drastic line so let's plug it in and get going so we're clamping we're clamping guys we are clamping down i don't know how long i'm meant to hold it for or anything this is really first impressions maybe we'll just leave go oh this is so cool. I haven't done this before. Like I've never even had this hairstyle done on me before. So I can't wait to see what it's going to look like. Oh, it looks so cool. I look like Milo. I look like I have Springer Spaniel ears. <laughs> but yeah, that looks really cute. And then you could always leave out the ends or straighten the ends if you um, want to leave them out a bit. But I just love how it like starts on the root. It definitely does distract from the fact that there's like a, well, I don't really have a line, but um, it definitely distracts from the fact that there's roots. Just, it blends it out a little bit more. And it was really quick as well, wasn't it? We're going to go back in with the wave spray. Spray it around. Give us a little judge, the smell. Oh my God, I love. Milo's gonna be like, hey sis, my twin sis. And then just giving it an old scrunch. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of this bad boy, cause we like a nice glossy non-frizzy hair. Rub that together. And then I focus the most of it on the end. See, cause I like that straight end look. Cause I don't want it to look like it's frizzy. I want it to look like it's styled. It isn't a foam, this is just a spray. Oh, and her product smells so good. I'm giving it a little judge at the side. And now I'm going to use my hair brush to brush this down the center. Give me a little bangs moment. Very Rosie Con inspired. And then, just going to do a little bit of the texture foam. Very little. And put it into the 
front parts by the bangs people are always asking me how do i style the bangs and literally it's once you have your hair rolled with a hair dryer like rolly brush and a hair dryer a little bit of a texture spray just give it a little bit of a hold and then you're good i just love the waves i love the smells of the products my hair doesn't look like it has a sharp line anymore it's a really good way of making the most out of your lockdown hair. So yeah guys, that's my first impressions and also my holy grail. So we had kind of like the contrast of the two. The holy grails that I've been using non-stop all through lockdown and the ones that are working the best for me, the ones I'm seeing amazing results from and also then my first impressions of some other products. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products, all the information is in the description below. My code works on everything, Sean underscore LF. But also feel free to message me over on Instagram or in the comments from more information about these products so i'll see you in the next video guys make sure to like comment and subscribe new youtube videos coming very soon